In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how Dez had the best defense in Madden 23 uh, in the tournament in the MCS Thanksgiving. We're going to dive into one of his main little defenses here out of the dollar three two six formation for defending bunch. Now, if you want to get my dollar three two six defensive ebook, I shared this. I broke this ebook down months ago and have uh, recently updated. I'm going to be updating it some more. Um, in the future, uh, in the coming weeks, with some of the stuff that came out of the Thanksgiving tournament, just as well as some of the other stuff that I've been finding. I think I found a way to make the five man variation of Dollar Scream, but only seeing four. So be sure that you join our Patreon if you want to get access to all of my ebooks and all of my updates to those ebooks. I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below. So, like I said in this video, we're going to be going over Dez's bunch defense, or at least one of them, uh, one of the key setups that I thought he used uh, that was actually really, really, really effective. Um, now, I'm just going to set a couple basic audibles here in the Colts bunch, and then uh, we will get out there on the field. I'm going to come out in mesh post if I could find that play. And then uh, his dollar defense. So, coaching adjustments, we're going to go ahead and put our zone coverage set to match, and then also we're going to put our auto alignment on base. Now, I think Dez had the best defense in the whole tournament by far, and Dez was running a lot of dollar, and he was also running a lot of dollar base align, uh, which I've talked about before. One of the reasons why I think that variation of dollar is so effective is because it forces your opponent to not be able to have a pre-snap tell uh, what coverage you're in. You could be in cover three, cover four, cover two, and they'll all basically look the same if you do this little quick step. So what he was doing was he was just simply pressing his defense and then he would make you know several different adjustments based off the situation now i think one of the best defenses that he ran was basically this right here he's going to outside third that bunch side corner what this is going to do is it's going to stop any kind of c route or something like that they're gonna have to motion over um to take that or to open that up he then is going to inside third this deep safety and essentially we're going to play cover um two on the bunch side and cover three on the solo side and what he wants to do here is we're going to drop this linebacker on the right into a um a hard flat so you get the linebacker on a hard flat you got a cloud flat and then your user here is going to come out here and if the running back goes on a route he's going to go guard him if the running back doesn't go on a route then he's going to lurk in the middle of the field so as you'll see right here um the running backs are going around you're going to see we're going to get incredible pressure and the middle is open, but there is one little pro tip that I wanted to give you. I don't think Dez was doing this in this video or in the in the tournament, but what you can do is you can drop this guy on the right um, or this D tackle into a hook curl, and you'll notice something interesting. You'll still get the blitz to scream, but now you have some coverage over the middle of the field. Now, um, the other thing that is, again, very valuable about this defense is in this situation where you know we wanted to stop let's say we wanted to stop you know something quick to the flat then we would actually go ahead and drop this corner on the right into a hard flat we're going to drop this linebacker uh we're going to go ahead and drop him or leave him in his vertical hook or we're going to drop him in coverage on the slot receiver this was pretty good coverage um the reason being is because we can actually also cross man everybody on the bunch side so you see do something like this this is a very good variation of this defense and then again it's the same basic principle now the running back is going to block so we're going to lurk in the middle of the field and as you see how effective this blitz really is uh des was notorious for his pressure in this game now the last thing that i want to showcase in this that i think is really important is the coverage so let's say for example that uh we want to change it up on our opponent one of the things that I think Dez did really, really well was he had timely change-ups where he would go to either double Babel coverages or, you know, any kind of base zone shell. Maybe look something like this, you know, where we're going to go ahead and have two hard flats. We have a cloud flat on that right side with a vert hook, and then we're still going to be usering in the middle of the field. You can do all of this out of DB fire, which is why it's such a good play. And now they're going to be thinking, oh, there's pressure. I got to get the ball out quick. And then, as you can see here, we're going to have everything covered up. So this is one of the ways that Dez did such a good job defensively. Now, um, you know, I wanted to, to talk about this backed off trick uh, that I've talked about here before on the channel. This is super underrated. Backing off your corners and dollar is gonna make these cloud flats play significantly better. So if you want this to play a little bit better from a coverage perspective, I would really recommend this back off trick. You're gonna see here that, you know, this post is gonna be a lot more covered. I'm still able to complete it because it's Madden 23. 
but you're going to see it's going to be a lot more covered. Now, where this becomes, I think, very baity is we could go ahead and still play that hard flat on the left side. And if they were to try to throw this quick to the flat on the right, let's say they're trying to beat the blitz or whatever, you're going to see right here that this hard flat is going to lurk this vertical's wheel if you wanted to make that adjustment. So again, these backed off corners, I think, provide really confusing tells. Now, I don't think Dez was backing these guys up, uh, except for in obvious passing situations. But one of the things that he was really, I think, doing very good is he would come out in something like this, and then he would basically man these guys up like so. If you take a look at my coverage, you see this was actually a very common adjustment that Dez was making um, and basically playing some man coverage defense out of the DB fire with two cloud flats, which I thought was super, super uh, powerful because if you weren't paying, if you, um, you know, were trying to kind of force your throws quick, this right here was really, really, really good. Um, really good. So anyways, these are some of the adjustments that Dez made, I think, to, you know, to his bunch or uh, to his bunch defense that made it really, really hard um, to be consistent, you know, against bunch. Something as simple as this adjustment right here, I feel like this is one of the better ones. And then you'll see here, running back goes out of route, we go guard him, and you see that everything's going to be muddied up in the middle of the field. So if you want to learn the rest of the dollar three two six defense, I'd really encourage you to check out my dollar defensive ebook. Um, we're going to be updating it a little bit as well. So make sure you're in the Patreon for that. $10 will get you access to all of my ebooks and all of my updates to those ebooks. And so if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of this video and click the link down below.